All right, let me talk about something else here, because I can go on for days repeating myself, apparently. Um, this one's going to be real quick. Darksiders 3 got revealed with a trailer. I don't know how old this news is. I think it came out yesterday. But uh, this is something that uh, I really enjoy, and I'm probably going to, you know, I'm definitely going to get Darksiders 3 into an LP of it, because uh, I played through the first one. Um, played through the second one, got a whole LP up on the channel if you guys want to you know, take a look at it. So I'm a huge fan of uh, the franchise, and I'm interested to see what they're going to do with it. Because it's one, it's one of those games where when they made part one, they didn't know if they were going to make you know sequels and stuff like that. They kind of set it up for it, but they, you know didn't really know how, how well the game was going to be received. And it was one of those things where it made money, but it didn't like make millions and millions of copies and outsell everything. But it was a good, it was still a good game. So when they made part two, <laughs> that's when they was like, you know what? We're really going to tell the story in a certain kind of way where each one of the four horsemen is going to get their game. And part two was a great step up from part one. It basically went from being like a, uh, a linear Zelda type. I'm not going to say clone, but... Um, linear type game like that because it was like a Zelda game where you go in a certain area it wasn't really open world per se but you go in a certain area you get a weapon or an upgrade and then as you go to the next area you use your upgrades to progress further in the game you know and you had like an open a hub world where that, I mean, that you can travel through different areas and things like that but, but part two that's when the game really kind of blew up so to speak you know you had the really cool badass trailers with death you know doing his thing and uh the gameplay changed the, the combat got better the open world got better uh the story was damn good in my opinion and um it was just sad when uh because i think that the game uh developers who made darksiders one and two uh, I think they were the same people who made Saints Row. I, th I want to say I think they were Volition. I could be wrong. I think I think they were uh, uh, Volition, but I think they went under, or uh, it was either them or the publisher that you know ran all of their stuff went under. And uh, I was kind of worried because I was like, damn. Usually when that happens, right, somebody another company will try to buy your game. And um, you know if it's good enough, sometimes the game just stagnates and nobody wants to do anything with it. Um, take one of my favorite games from um, from the 360 area, Advent Rising. Same uh, same thing. Same thing happened in that where it was like they, you know, the developer kind of went under. You know, it was like their first major really game like that. They went under and just nobody picked it up, and the game just sits there. You know, story's never gonna be finished. And that's what I thought was gonna happen with Dark Souls 2. I didn't realize that somebody else had. Uh, picked up the rights to it and everything like that but i'm but, but i'm glad somebody did um however uh usually when things like that happen uh the final product is, isn't going to be the same because it's made by different people um uh, what i was saying um with last week with uh mass effect that situation is going to apply here where it's good the game is going to probably be made i don't know if they brought over the same people or anything like that um they just had the trailer come out so i don't know who's particularly working on it but if it is a different company somebody else bought it and, and, and they're making the next game it's gonna not be made by the same people so it's not going to be having the same ideas and it's going to be made a little bit differently. It's going to feel different. It's going to have a different tone. They may even take the story and shift the tone from what it was to something else. And I'm just hoping that it doesn't change far from what part two did. Because part two kind of branched it out a, ho a whole hell of a lot and made it something bigger and better than even what part one was. So I'm hoping that part three just does the same thing, but they... I'm hoping they find and they realize what part two brought to the table and realize what worked and what didn't because 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 there's a lot of game companies out there who uh and game devs who just see only what they want to see and not what they should see and what i mean by that is they'll come out with a game and they get so caught up it's like tunnel vision they'll get caught up in what they want to make you know 
and they think that their ideas are the best because because they're the ones making them but they don't realize that it could it it, it might not be <laughs> you know like if you had this it, it's kind of like as if you have somebody making something right you have like an artist or whatever they're making like the greatest sculpt uh sculpting or the greatest painting in the world they think it's the greatest thing ever oh prime example i get I, I, i'll give you even one better I, i'll bring it down to earth even more than that forget an artist people with their babies with kids they'll think their kids the best in the world they'll post pictures on facebook they'll think you know like oh my kid's the best because it's your kid no no the fucking it's not kid probably bad as shit but since it's yours it's like you can't see that you know what i'm saying and it's the same thing with game development they go in there with an idea and they make it and they think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread but it's not you know and if they had that other other perspective you know what i'm saying or listen to that other perspective they would realize that you know what maybe you know maybe it's not the greatest thing in the world and um that's what i think you know that's what i'm hoping the game developers don't do normally when game developers have an open mind the game tends to turn out better um usually when they're just oh we want to make this because we want to make it and we don't give a damn what people say normally the games don't really be good after that you know what i'm saying you have to take at least some kind of criticism to whatever it is you do and then improve upon your position or station at that point to, to you know to make things better so i'm hoping the, the game succeeds i don't know when it's coming out i think i heard uh sometime next year so if it does come out next year that's even better um i'm probably gonna play it and lp it so if uh when it drops if you guys want to see lp of it you guys know who to check out so 